The story begins as a young girl is left all alone after a group of goblins attacked the carriage she was riding on. The goblins go to end her life as well, but a mysterious boy arrives to protect her. Years later, our protagonist, named Laos, is asked if he would like to join a girl's party, and everyone around is shocked to hear that the girl wants to team up with him. Laos has shocked himself, so the girl points out that his sign is clearly asking to recruit people to his party. This girl insists on joining him, and she declared that she is a martial artist. Laos introduces himself as sort of a healer, but an employee of the Adventurer's Guild rushes to stop the girl from making the biggest mistake of her life. Her name is Amherst, and she warns the girl named Narsina not to join Lost's party. Amherst reveals that this guy has been given the nickname the Incompetent Laos. He is a healer, but he only knows the beginner magic spell called Heal. He is a labyrinth orphan, and just like the rest of the parentless children, he grew up as an adventurer. However, even after all these years, Lost can't even use an area heal or a high heal spell. He is known by all as an absolute failure of a human being. Despite all this, Lost managed to join a party called Lightning Sword. That is, until recently, when he was kicked for not being able to use detoxification magic. Everyone knows how incompetent he is, so no one ever invites him to join their parties. Amherst warns that Narsena will never be able to make any money if she parties up with Laust, but Narsena reveals that she already has plenty of money. Amherst panics when she sees how much cash Narsena is just carrying around, and she explains that most of the adventures in this town are gangsters. Everyone looks pretty menacing, so Amherst tells Narsena to never show such large amounts of money. Narsena graciously thanks her, and Amherst can tell that she is pretty new to this whole adventuring thing. Amherst offers to introduce Narsena to a nice beginner's party, but the little girl says that she will have to charge Narsena for her services. Narsena surprisingly rejects the scammer because she has been wanting to join Lost's party for a really long time. Laust and Narsena go to sign some papers to make the party official, and Narsena stares a hole right through Laust's skull. She admires him a lot for some reason, and she's relieved to finally meet him again. The little weirdo is startled when Laus asks her to sign her name, but she gathers herself. Laust pays the guild fee and their party is now official outside. Laust explains that no one has ever explored the deepest part of the Marmot Labyrinth. There are still many mysteries inside, and no one even knows who the final boss is. Many adventurers have dreams of finding vast riches inside, so they have gathered a Marmot city, making it one of the largest cities in the nation. Laust is a psychopath, as he wants to go to the Labyrinth right this second. So Narsena wonders if that's really okay since they just formed their party a couple of hours ago. Also, before leaving, Amherst told me that he could only take Narsena to the grasslands because she is still a novice. The labyrinth leaks magic power to a few places around it, and it causes monsters to spawn there. The grasslands are one of these places, but only weak monsters spawn there. It's the best place for beginners, but it's too big and it's hard to find monsters. The labyrinth is the exact opposite as it's filled with monsters, and that's exactly what Laos is looking for. He assures Narsena that they won't have any problems as long as they don't go too deep inside, and he can handle things that get bad. Laos is strangely confident for a healer, but he says it's nothing, and they continue on. When they arrive, Narsena insists on taking that she is a martial artist, so it's only right for Laos to back her up from behind. As the healer, Laos is happy with her confidence, but he wonders if she can really fight. Narsena quickly proves herself as she beats down a group of goblins, and Laust is thoroughly impressed. He explains that the guild buys the magic stones dropped by the monsters, and that's how most adventurers make their living. The stones are valuable because they can be used for many things, but Laust points out that she should know this already even as a beginner. Unfortunately, the magic stones of goblins aren't worth very much, so they will have to defeat more powerful monsters if they want to make the big bucks. The two agree to go deeper into the dungeon to earn more cash, and Narsena vows to protect the weak healer if anything happens. Moments later, Laust is the one protecting Narsena as he stops her from stepping on a trap. He shows her where her grave was just about to be, and he explains that he was able to save her because he noticed the different colored tiles. Finding traps is usually a thief's job, so Naru wonders how Laust was able to do it as a healer. Laust simply explains that he's been an adventurer for a really long time, so he has picked up a couple skills here and there. Deeper in the dungeon, the two spots a half work, but it shouldn't be at this level of the dungeon. Half workers are known as mid-level demons, 
and their robust bodies make them very difficult to beat. Their power is equal to monsters on the lower levels of the labyrinth, so they should never appear in the upper levels. Narsena wonders if this is the time to run away, but Laust is confident that they can defeat it if they work together. Laust doesn't want to force her, but she surprisingly agrees as she trusts his judgment. Narsena starts off the fight, but she is startled when her first attack makes her feel like she is kicking a brick wall. Luckily, the beast is pretty slow, but Narsena still ends up taking some damage. The fight quickly goes bad for her as she is cornered, but the beast surprisingly isn't able to finish her off just then. Narsena can only stare in amazement as she sees that Laust rescued her just in time by plunging his sword right into the orc's chest. Laust is glad to see that Narsena is okay, but she can only wonder if Laust is really just a healer. Laust brushes the question off again and explains that his years of working as an adventurer have led to him learning a few close combat techniques. Narsena says that his attack didn't seem like a simple technique, but Laust distracts her by pointing out that she is injured. Narsena isn't too worried about it, but Laust is a healer through and through, so he knows that even the smallest wounds need proper treatment. Narsena insists that she is okay, but Laust heals her anyway. The magic stone left by the orc is much bigger than the goblins, and it has way more magic power too. This means that it will be worth a pretty penny. Laust explains that he has seen what he wanted to see out of Narsena in terms of her fighting ability. They have also earned a good amount of money, so they can head home now. But he leaves the decision to Narsena. She says that she can still fight, so the two go on to do some more hunting afterwards. Amherst is amazed to see how many monsters they defeated in just one day. Amherst realizes that Laust must have taken the newbie to the labyrinth, and what's worse is that them having an orc stone means that he took her to the middle level. Laust corrects her by explaining that they only went to the upper level. The orc shouldn't have been there, but this matches up with what the other adventurers have been saying as well. The higher Yupas have also been very busy recently, so Amherst thinks that something is happening in the labyrinth. Amherst's mood quickly changes as she is happy to pay them for their stones. Narsena is weirded out by how excited she is. So Laos explains that guild employees get a pay raise when they buy magic stones. This is only true when it's the adventures they are responsible for, which means that the more they make, the more Amherst makes. Laos is shocked by how much the payout is, and Amherst has to remind him to split it with Narsena. Laos would never forget, but he is surprised because even after splitting it, it's still 10 times more than he has ever earned. Laust goes into deep depression when he realizes what this means. Amherst explains to Narsena that he was just getting fooled when he was a member of the Lightning Sword Party, and they never gave him his fair share of the rewards. Narsena is infuriated by this, so she demands that the guild do something. The decision is up to Laust, so he decides to just move on because he is happy with his new party and he wants to forget about the old one. The pair leaves, but a mysterious man watches them. Later, the greedy Amherst happily counts all her earnings, but she is startled by the man. Handsome is her boss, and he just hopes that Amherst didn't help Laust find a new party. Amherst explains that she doesn't have the overpowered convincing ability that it would take to convince someone to join the Laust party. Instead, there was just a girl that saw something special and Laust, handsome, seems to know who the blue-haired girl is, but it concerns him for some reason. That night, Laust is surprised to learn that the word of him having a new party member has already spread around the city. The incompetent Laust is pretty well known, so him finding a fool to join his party is a big deal. Laust prepares to reserve a room and Narsena is startled by the thought of sharing a room with Laust. Laust decides that they should sleep in separate rooms, but this seems to disappoint Narsena. The two head to their rooms for the night, and Narsena thinks back to when she was healed. It turns out that Narsena was the girl in the carriage, and thus was the guy who rescued her. She was thankful after he healed her, but Laust apologized for not being able to do more. Narsena was strangely positive, even though I'm pretty sure that the goblins ended the lives of everyone else who must have been in the carriage. She didn't seem to care, and just vowed to become an adventurer. Narsena wanted to join the last party one day, and she promised to protect him. Narsena has been training very hard since then, and she has waited a long time to be with Laust. When she heard that Laust was kicked from his party, she immediately rushed to the city. The little stalker is pleased to see that her plan has worked perfectly. She formed a party with Laust, and they even defeated an orc. She is doing it all for him, so she becomes depressed when she thinks about how Laust didn't even recognize who she was. That's understandable since her appearance has changed so much. But that isn't all that has changed. 
Laust is much stronger than before, and he doesn't seem to need her protection. Narsena snaps herself out of her depression and reminds herself that she promised to protect Laust no matter what. The remotivated Narsena prepares for bed, but one thing still doesn't make sense to her. She can't figure out why people would call Laust incompetent when he is actually really powerful. I appreciate you viewing my anime recap. Unruly family. Please let me know what you think about this anime recap by liking, sharing, and commenting. And please subscribe to the channel to help us reach 5,000 subscribers.